Winchester Cathedral, the main focal point of the city. It was once the ancient capital of England back in the days of King Alfred the Great, with Winchester his seat of power in the Kingdom of Wessex. Nowadays, power has shifted towards Westminster and to London, but local Hampshire authorities want some of those powers back. Leader of Hampshire County Council Roy Perry told me that he wants devolution, but like many authorities, he doesn't want an elected mayor as the government has proposed. He also told me that with the government slashing £49 million off the council's budget before Christmas, he's hoping for no nasty surprises. Well, I think, I think above all, we, we want no more shocks to the system. It really was a shock just before Christmas to have that huge amount of money taken out. So that, that was bad news. I hope we won't get any shock like that. What Hampshire really needs is infrastructure investment. So we hope when the Chancellor is making announcements that he will be thinking of the needs of Hampshire. So that was Councillor Perry's view, and it's a similar view held within Southampton City Council. I spoke to Councillor Jeremy Moulton, the Conservative Group Leader of the Council, and he hopes that Chancellor George Osborne will allow Southampton much greater powers whilst making the city more prosperous and attractive to businesses. But what we're particularly hoping for is an announcement that will say the government is backing its deal with us to give us more powers from government. And I mentioned highways, but the, the thing that we're really keen on is to see um, the local business rates kept locally. So every time that we do the right thing in promoting the economy, getting more businesses to come to this part of the world, we keep the tax revenue from that so then we can keep ploughing it back into things like infrastructure and, um, and making the place a more attractive place to live and work. But not everyone is looking forward to the budget. Warwick Payne, the Housing and Sustainability Councillor for Southampton, gave a pretty damning prediction of the Chancellor's budget. My biggest fear for the budget announcement is that there's not going to be enough good news for Southampton and indeed the majority of the population. When you have a Conservative government in charge, quite often it's good news from the top of society, bad news for everybody else including us. And I'm fearful that there will not be enough good news, particularly as there's not another election day. I'm bracing myself for the worst. While we're standing in the grounds of Winchester Cathedral, it would be rather stupid not to hear the thoughts of Winchester City Council. Council Leader Stephen Godfrey told me that on Wednesday he wants the government to promote confidence in business in Winchester by making it easier for businesses to cut costs whilst at the same time hoping the government doesn't raise income tax or corporation tax. On another note, the people in the region, especially at Southampton General Hospital, will be hoping the Chancellor will grant £2 million worth of funds to the hospital to build its new and improved children's trauma centre. So the main points from local government are keep Hampshire cities and towns thriving, help improve infrastructure in the region and bring power back to Winchester and the rest of Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. This is Ross Perkins, UK Today in Winchester.